right, doing push-ups prenatally. Push-ups, pregnant or not, are hard. And the limiting factor for most people, pregnant or not, is more of a, a core limiting factor than an upper body limiting factor. So there's a ton of core demand in push-ups, which is why pregnant, you will definitely have to modify them when you can't adequately control the pressure in your core. So before I give you a bunch of options, I'm just gonna quick do a breathing lesson. So I'm going to say exhale a lot. And when I say exhale, it's gonna be on the way up of the push-up. I just don't mean like, it's a forceful exhalation throughout the entire thing and we want a TVA, a transverse abdominus, a deep core breath. So what it's kind of gonna look like is when I inhale and I just let my belly fill, I wanna exhale and hug the baby. So whole belly comes in at one unit with an SH sound. You can think about your belly coming, belly button coming more towards your spine. You could think about your belly button uh, coming away from your panty line. You could think about zipping up a jacket, so zipping up the air from bottom to top. But what we don't want is like a suck in or just a blow. We want a whole baby hug. So when I say exhale, do that. Let's talk about uh, options on the floor and then I'll of course get to some with hands elevated, which is gonna be the, probably the most useful modification for you. But if you are at a trimester where your belly is not going to hit the floor yet, because obviously that would be a limiting factor. So FYI, if you got a big old belly, but you're real strong at push-ups, we don't wanna really start doing a ton of these. I see this a lot, like diving push-ups to avoid the belly. I'd rather see you elevate your hands so that you could keep the same range of motion because we're gonna get like funky shoulder impingements and stuff like that. So generally speaking, let me give you a level one, two, and three that I generally give for a push-up so we're on the same page with form. And also you can use these prenatally. It's just that, um, you know, probably second trimester on, you're probably gonna wanna start elevating your hands. But here we go. Palms spread wide, elbow pits forward, shoulders over hands, knees under, uh, not under hips, knees down, hips underneath, toes down. We want a long neck, so like a turtle coming out of its shell, and we wanna push the floor away from us. You can think about putting your shoulder blades into your back pocket. Right here, I'm in a knee plank, already pretty core demanding. So I wanna inhale, pull my elbows back without reaching with my face, without reaching with my belly, of course. Inhale down, and then exhale up. Level two would be one knee off the floor, one knee on the floor. And then level three would be legs straight. I like them a little bit wider than the hips and I like softly bent knees. This helps me so I don't have my, uh, put my back into extension. It helps me keep my hips underneath me. Again, inhale down, exhale up. Generally speaking, we're looking to make an arrow shape with our arms, not an I, not a T. So that's just push-ups 101, general progressions to get you strong. You may be able to use any one of those three levels, probably in first trimester, okay? Well, it gets useful to start elevating your hands. Obviously, the higher, the more assistance it's going to provide, the easier it's going to be. So if I set my box up nice and tall, uh, it's gonna be a lot easier and I'll work my way down. So the most important thing with push-ups on a box, bench, chair, couch, whatever it is, is that we want our the corner of the box to touch our bra line, essentially. So we're gonna be up on the toes, and what I want is a softly bent knees. We're gonna inhale down, pull those elbows back, touch, shh, exhale up, okay? You might not need that much assistance, you could do challenging versions of a push-up, again, as long as you can adequately control the pressure. If you see coning or doming, doming which means your, your belly is not keeping that spherical shape, it's having this ridge at the center or this uh, point, then we need to kind of shake it out and either level back or um, find a different strategy so that we can not repeatedly have that uh, pressure happening. So. I love this kind of height. I end up, I tend to just use it a lot second, third trimester. But again, this really bent knee actually helps a lot. So it's no longer softly bent like I was talking about on the floor. It's almost as if we were doing like a bear, elevated bear or quadruped type position. So pretty bent knees. Inhale down. Exhale up. So generally speaking, those are the most useful levels that you'll need. Elevating is going to be your best friend. You could check out suspension push-ups in another video of mine, uh, but I hope that helps. Let me know what other push-up questions you have and live epic, be epic.